Well, we have been using hems to obscure the sharp edges of sheet metal, but sometimes that isn't enough. Let's go through some more options that will smooth things out. This is the part that we've been working on so far. Let's talk about some extra tools that will make things easier and even more fun. Uh, we have the corner round tool. And what I can do is, let's say, unbend a flange here. And perhaps we want to round this out. Of course, we can do a cut or any number of things, but life can be a little bit easier by simply clicking on a corner and rounding out an edge. Of course, just like the fillet command, we can increase or decrease the size of the round that we would like, but I'll go with something quite large. Now, when I go to rebend, You can see that we have a smooth cut that goes all the way through the hem. This is great for removing sharp edges. So we're able to do that. We also, if we wish, can delete some of these features we've added. And perhaps I'd like to edit this hem. I'll go over to flange number 12, give it an edit. And perhaps we want to move this down a little bit. All right, we'll go to 1.5 on our width offset. I can add in something like a corner chamfer, like that, and increase the distance. We can apply that, and if I wish to modify the part further, I now have a nice edge. And if I <laughs> go back to my 90 degree bend angle, I can create a pretty handy little flange that I can use for more sheet metal features. As always, we can flat pattern and ensure that things are flattening out just the way that we want. Let me generate to the last feature now. Another thing that is important that we haven't talked about yet is the whole tool. This is just like the whole tool in the part modeling environment where when I click on the whole tool, I have the option to insert a simple counter bore, counter drilled, counter sunk, and tapered. Simply by selecting my start surface, I can go through the tools and specify everything that I would like. Generally, we'll do a counter sunk hole more so than a counter bore hole. Counter bore would require a whole machining operation, but counter sucks can be applied without fancy equipment. I can click and see the hole that I've added. Of course, this appears to be more of a tapered hole because of the thinness of the material that I'm working with. I can take this down to something like 45. And I'll open up the diameter. And perhaps we'd like to have a 70 degree countersunk hole. Well, there we are. So we can use the hole tool exactly as we've used it in the part modeling environment. And between being able to round corners, chamfer corners, and add holes, we've covered a lot in this video. Well, that's how we do corner treatments. That's how we do the hole tool. In the next video, we're gonna cover even more sheet metal. We'll see you then.